Hi, uh, so our next project is a, a new malware classification framework based on based on machine learning and uh, deep learning algorithm. So uh, this project talks about uh, malware classification. Um, or malware classification means we are talking this uh, talks about uh, this one talks about software attacks or cyber attacks. You know the software attacks is a kind of uh, an attacks which is uh, uh, attacked by using so few programs and few for formats like the uh, binary calls, uh, <coughs> malware API, malware API calls, uh, etc. So this code has a uh, architecture diagram. So this is not a network based attack. So, so actually attacks are a couple of types like uh, network based attacks, uh, software attacks, etc. So this software we are dealing with the software attacks. So yeah. So it has a couple of uh, models. So we, we only depend on the behavior heuristic and deep learning based models only because of we found the only two data sets of API calls and uh, byte sequences of image data set. So let's have a look of the data set. Yeah, this is uh, API calls uh, data set, malware API calls data set. So every each API calls nothing but uh, it has a, a functionality. So that will process a uh, process on the system, uh, victim system. Uh, so to open something to read something based on the based on the program. So this is the attack type based on this at based on the, this sequence uh, system calls or else malware API calls. So this kind of attack can happen. So couple of attacks are there. So this is almost a huge data sets I we found like uh, 15,000 change, uh, one like uh, 55, yeah, 15,000 change that uh, rows we have. Next, come to the uh, second data set uh, of binary binary calls. So this one takes about uh, yeah, this one. Uh, I, I, I took the image data sets because the paper suggested uh, so and so uh, this is a uh, CNN algorithm image so apply then uh, yeah malware binaries are converted to converted to the image formats that image uh, uh, this process is call, called as a malware visualization process so this image data set we are going to train and test and predict at the user sites uh, because of we can't directly take the malware files so that is uh, like uh, that, that that files can attack to our system so so it is uh, we, we, we we are analyzing their classification using the in the different format and uh, so uh, like uh, there, there is a data set prepared by somebody so that data set uh, has a couple of we couple of uh, attacks types so almost all 25 change attack at, 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 at types are there and uh, each types has a couple of Im uh, like multiple images yeah, it, it, this attack has a 636 images yeah so and so attack yeah we, we got 132 attacks so but it, it is uh, yeah it looks like like this almost all so this data set we are going to train and test and user user the pre predicted the user set so let's start our server i already started the server so and this was a uh, designed in uh, developer and design by using django framework using mysql database django python were used for the application application building and we have a uh, three uh, two things admin and user modules and uh, i'm going to uh, log in as an admin 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 password. So then, uh, I have a two data sets: malware API calls data set and the malware binary image data sets. So we we are, we are making classification process on both data sets. So malware API calls. See, there is a this is, this is a training process and this is a testing process and this is the we are process. Already uh, build uh, build the models of the each classifier. And I already tested, and the, the, the data set, the in the data set, the accuracy is already stored. So let's have a uh, look for the model files.
yeah these are the model files which i uh, which i created and let's see uh, nb in navy base uh, model i'm going to delete this one i'm going to train this one yeah i'm uploading the training file yeah i'm uploading the training data set i'm clicking on the navy base classifier so it will take a few seconds only but the remaining algorithms like uh, in an algorithm and a random forest will take a lot of time so better you supposed to show your output with the navy base and kn only because it, it almost uh, it takes only for a couple of seconds only so then i'm going to uh, the testing process you can show to uh, i'm uploading the testing file and you can process the you process the every algorithm each, each algorithm as you wish so i'm just uh, yeah at the SC, svm is processed here uh, we got accuracy and the testing data set I'm uploading. Yeah, neighbors. Yeah, so we can see the all the accuracies of these five algorithms SVM, neighbor based classifier, and K neighbors, artificial neural network, and random forest clear as well. Let's see the view accuracies of the each algorithm. See, we got the accuracies of the each algorithm and uh, any uh, when whenever we process the when we process the testing set that particular algorithm class algorithm accuracy only will replace will replace in the database so i'm going to view accuracy and we can uh, show this one in the graph so visualize the accuracy so in this uh, graph we can observe the random forest algorithm got high accuracy score so in the malware api cost data sets classific classification analysis we found that the random forest algorithm got best accuracies almost so 97 percentage of accuracies we achieved next uh, come to the malware binary image so uh, just before i forgot to show the model file was on main v is created so the five model files are required according to the model files only the based on the model files we are going to test and we can predict next uh, malware image binary so it's almost whenever we uh, process this button when we click on this button so we are initiating the cnf thing so just just before i uh, uh, i this uh, i i process the cnn algorithm and i got this uh, this accuracy almost a 94 accuracy i got and i took the 30 approaches if you increase the approach approach value you may increase increase the accuracies also if you deal with if you done with 50 approaches you you may get a 97 or 96 you will get so i took the 30 30 approaches 30 approaches value and the image size is 64 by 64 and uh, whenever we are start this initial in start this accuracy start this training so it will take almost almost all one hour so i'm just uh, skipping that on that that part so then i'm just showing my accuracy and i i got my graph so accuracy is it's almost 90 plus and i lost accuracy loss is it's almost 0 0.1 yeah so this is the output we can see we can uh, find in the admin side so malware api calls data set and malware in, uh, in malware bind image data sets let's say that that is the thing at the admin side so admin uh, deal uh, done the classification part and user side whenever we we are logging as a user so we supposed to have an account that is a user id password email and password so i'm going to create an account yeah email is already registered so i'm logging as a email uh, that account for you that account uh, yeah i got my whole user home page i have only one option prediction and prediction we have a uh, two things malware ap calls detection and malware type detection in binary image so i'm uploading the a file we, which can which can accept uh, python files json uh, json files and the xml files so it may has the it may has the uh, so and so uh, api calls uh, api calls so if, if it is a uh, any file particular file has the api calls it will uh, detect and it will predict the the category of the 
malware so i am uploading this file it.json and we can yes, it is it is uh, predicting with the uh, random voice algorithm with the 96 percentage uh, it is a malware file and this is the type type of attack i am going back and uploading other file Yeah, that will clear so oh, it's supposed to be have the it is not malware file uh, yeah so I'm opening the file so detection yeah I got not a malware file so that is the malware API calls data set prediction at user side next uh, in the binary i'm opening the binary image yeah i selected random some random image so detection so it will it will only uh, represents the the attack type so this is the attack the predicted malware type uh, result using cnn with the 94 uh, uh, per accuracy sees this alpha something prediction and pulling another image yes so that's it uh, thank you and the existing system of this project is uh, the malware things uh, the software the software attacks are only deal with the signature signature based only so it is uh, it's supposed to be uh, updated with the uh, api calls and these kind of uh, binary data sets so that is the existing we are proposing with this uh, heuristic uh, heuristic and the binary uh, the uh, cloud like deep learning models so so and uh, in the paper enhancement i included the neural networks algorithm artificial neural network algorithm which is not implemented in the paper so we used it and uh, the RTG is completely not satis satisfied but up to whatever the data set we found in we found up to whatever resources we have we concluded this one so that's it thank you